This has been going on since 2 p.m. Zoe. Uh, the size of the crown has gone down. It is diminished, but I wouldn't say by much. Uh, there's still about, uh, I'd say three, four hundred people here. Um, they're probably all throughout the, the, the airport, uh, but uh, most of them are outside right now. Uh, I'm getting a little better on my Wi-Fi. I'd say half. Half of the cops were in riot gear, whoever asked that question. You're welcome, Chris. And so I think the, the, the police without riot gear are probably uh, police who here work regularly at the Port of Portland. And then there's additional uh, police force members here uh, because of the protests happening. And as you have probably seen, uh, things are pretty destructive here. So it makes sense that we're seeing uh, more police. And uh, yeah, my Wi-Fi is now on, so I'm gonna check that real quick. <laughs> no, Zoe, I have not seen any uh, news about airlines being prevented from functioning. Uh, there has been some gates during this past four hours that have been closed. We've seen gates go down. Uh, we've also seen police uh, create lines around certain gates and people, uh, they still allow people with tickets to get through that police line. But I've not seen or heard of any flights that have been stopped or canceled or terminated or slowed down because of it. There was traffic earlier. The, the protest did end up downstairs for a little bit. And it did block people from going in. All right, I'm checking. All right, I think my Wi-Fi is okay, so uh, please hold on for two seconds as I switch back onto my Wi-Fi. Oop, crap. And I need to fix my stick. I keep breaking my stick. All right, hold on, folks, one second. Uh, I'm going to switch to my working Wi-Fi and head outside. Uh, no, airport employees... Um, many of them are streaming, and I've talked to most of them. They all seem, of course they're working, um, but from the ones that I've talked to, they have been, uh, they've had positive reaction to the protest, and while they're not talking too much about what they believe, I'm pretty sure they all believe uh, that this is a righteous cause. That's a bummer. Do you have anything to say to live stream? Um, so far, so I work here and um, I got off work and you guys, uh, or yeah, you guys uh, closed off the gates so um, I think a lot of people are getting let off early. But uh, I haven't seen it but apparently a Nazi got punched in the face. Who? A Nazi got punched in the face. It was a Bible thumper. Bible thumper? Brimstone kind of guy, okay. yeah. Okay, I didn't actually see it happen but I've, I've been hearing rumors and which caused the rest of the restaurants to go. It's turning hostile, and now everyone else is closed inside. Oh, wow. Yeah, everyone is starting to close off inside because of what's happening, which I think is kind of good, I want to say, because shut it down, you know? Um, but so far, everything, everyone's been peaceful other than that one. 
So how are the employees inside feeling? Um, uh, it's mixed feelings on both parts. Uh, the people I work with, I have some people... Mm -hmm. But uh, personally, as somebody who I work um, and tra and I transit as well, I support the protests. Uh, but they've been messing with the transit a little bit, so I've been on uh, kind of a warning. Has the transit shut down? Not transit right now is not no, but in general, yeah. So there's people who have mixed feelings simply because they like what we're standing for, but it's hard for us to get to work, and it's like such mixed feelings, you know. So so far, from what I've heard, is is mostly positive and simply have to work. Nothing. I've not heard anything negative. <laughs> hey people! Oh Canada, maple trees and maple syrup. <laughs> now escorting Maga. Get back on the Mayflower, you fucking hypocrite! You fucking wet back. Get back on the Mayflower. That, Antonio, what do you say? You're fucking Latino. He's that a fucking wet back. He's fucking ass. Just came on a fucking boat. Good job down there. Look, people are fucking Nazi. You're gonna run up the crowd, then run back. I'm not a Nazi. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. He does have a rich assortment haircut. And I wasn't hurt. You marched through like. That was a very problem. fucking, yeah, like you had a fucking problem. It's just, and then you're fucking it's pushing on people too, bro. Push me. It's like a press conference over here. I'm Damn. Damn. Why you should. Why'd you march to the protest? You don't make America you know great you don't stall me, I'm gonna kick Actually, according to real history, white people came on a boat, not my fucking people. That's his is it is it fucking smart? Is it fucking smart for this motherfucker right here to run through a fucking crowd of anti-Trump supporters and fucking yell, "Make America great again!" Like a fucking retard. We don't go to their shit. We don't go to their shit. Well, you don't have to be oppressive. Why you gotta say the word retard? Let's get the fuck out of here. Stop that Nazi! Let's let him go. Let him get out of here. We don't want him here. Why you wanna fight fire with fire? What do you think you're gonna get? Is there anything we can do to help that dude out? Uh, no. I don't think it'll be any issue. Like he's not, he's not proactively engaging. So I think that you even trying to protect him will rile people up. I let him go. Okay. He's gonna find his friend. I think this one will be okay. By the way, you have the best live stream. Thank you. Ever. Thank you. Like it's yes. a, a rave review for my live streams. Oh, oh, this isn't pretty.
<laughs> Yikes. You see how polarized this country is? Someone says, make America great again. Boom, they're a Nazi. I gotta say though, his haircut just looks like Richard Sermon's. Richard Spencer, not Richard Sherman. He has dreads. Uh, but yeah, his hair looks like Richard Spencer's. So I think, where did they go downstairs? Okay, the protest went downstairs. That's where I'm following people. It is just chaos here at the airport. They were. How are you doing? Good. It's pretty energetic here. It's really, yeah. Really, really Perfect energetic. place to take a nap. Yeah, no, right? About time. How long do you want to stay out here? Me? Yeah. I don't know. It seems to be coming down a little bit, but we'll see. Might be a little bit. This violent. is not calming down. <laughs> bit, right? There's more and more drama. All right. Are they blocking traffic again? Yep, they're blocking traffic again.
Hey, camera. Is it huh? I don't know. I'm going to stop here. <laughs> Two people at a time. <laughs> Fuck. All right, we need to brainstorm. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, okay. First off, we need to be here by like seven. Yeah. This is by time. We don't have to be here. They're meeting us at a grocery store. They can eat something. Um, Cameron Witten, everybody. Cameron Witten. <laughs> um, so the one dude canceled on me. Live stream, Facebook live stream. If you're watching this, tell us what we should do right now. <laughs> so, so one person, they, they were yelling slurs. Yeah. And, uh, and it's starting to rain. Got in their face and then they oh, they're about to really start. Oh, this is gonna get nasty. This is gonna get so nasty. And again, because they're blocking shit. You know, police are gonna show up now. Oh, it's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yo, that was different. That was over here. Now we're blocking all the lanes. And this is getting close to the freeway. They're heading towards the freeway. That's what it looks like. I know. Okay, well. What we can at least. Here, here's what we can do. We, we can at least do a know your rights, say, hey, here's what can happen to you. As you know, police have most like, recently been deploying all these things. Just so you know, just so you know, this is likely to happen. They've already been firing some kind of canister at us. They're probably going to follow with pepper spray tear gas. At least let people know what's going to happen. And, they, you know, you know, you know, Justin Mina, all in Canada would be mad if we don't even warn people. So I think at least giving the warning to people is a good first step. We don't have the numbers, and police will show up immediately. It's okay. As long as we just say our piece, we can say our piece. And if people, if people want to follow the anarchists, we can say that. Like, we should actually do that. We can really say, there are people here leading the march. They'll follow them if that's what you want to do. But at least let people, like, consciously make that decision. And I don't think there's any kind of conversation happening right now. Yeah, I know, Refugees Megan. Are here. I still love them, though. Refugees are welcome here. Say clear. Refugees are welcome here. Say clear. Refugees are welcome here. Is there a bullhorn anywhere?
Oh, this is not good. This is still from Okay. I'm trying to see where Someone did. I did. Well, then you've got the bullhorn. Yeah. Yeah, we're going up this way. Should I? Should, and Tim 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 Tim
So that's all I really wanted to say. If y'all want to keep marching in the streets, please keep doing that. Just know that it's dangerous out there and we need fearless leaders. But if you want to be safe too, please be safe. We got your back. So if you do get arrested here, um, you won't be able to call us. But if you do get arrested, you know, just know that if you end up at the Justice Center, there will be people out there waiting for you, okay? So we've got jail support. We, you're not going to feel isolated if you get arrested. We will be there for you. But just so you know, that is a risk. And consider that uh, before you get back in the streets. That's all I had to say to y'all, folks. I love you. Thank you. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in. I guess so. Get up. We're marching back. And this. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Get up. Get down. No racist here in this town. Yeah. Daniel Hong, good to see you. Well, can we chant? Here you go. You can lead it. Thank you. This is actually mine. Thank you. Let's spread out across! Spread out across! Hmm. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. My poor heart. <laughs> It's 
in a couple of days. Oh, that's true. February 5th. Yeah, just tell oh, me. Oh, let's announce. Someone should announce that. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, where's the mega We're over here strategizing. It's up in the front. Did you have one? I gave it back to the, the, the guy who owned it. Man, democracy is messy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> now Greg is being silly. Y'all know each other? Yeah, well, he do. yeah, we do. We ran into each other. Yeah. How long have you known each other? Uh, Two years since last year. Yeah, I met her at WSU. We were trying to do this was together. my main campaigner when I ran for mayor. I did. Really? Do that. 2012. That was so a high school. Yes. That's fantastic. We'll Dedicated organizer. Yes. Yes, yes, you are. Thank you. Heather. You okay? I'm waiting for the crowd. Okay. You know how they get free bus. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Yeah, the protest is, yeah, you're totally right. Camera guy. Hey, camera guy? we're going back to the airport. Okay. Yeah. One of the, and we're going to rally the, there. I think that the, um, people are like, start, a lot of people are leaving. One of the clipped my friend. Oh, shit. Tried, one tried to her. Damn, yeah. that's rough. Yeah. You okay? Got, um, no. Yeah. We should have written down the name of the company of that van that tried to I, run me over. Yeah. Some, I like, got the company license. van, like, yeah, ran the fucking like that, that thing Yeah, it was wow. one of those. Wow. I think it was, it was that company, wasn't That's it? That's rough. Sure? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it hit him with the uh, side view mirror and almost took us both out. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm glad you're okay. It yeah. could have been worse. Like, there's some fucked up shit that's happened lately. Yeah. And you did get hit by a car. Yeah, I did get hit by a car knocked over earlier. Me too. Wow. And shot to the ground by the police. I, was I just, got tackled to the ground. I was just trying to get the officer's here, but... name. All right, we're near the back. Most of the people are already back at the airport. Lots of walking. Greg, are you gonna announce the February 1st? I'm not doing shit. And you can just like casually mention that people are leaving. Okay. It's both. Did I get eaten? What is he amped up about? Who? We don't get tired. <laughs> we don't know what tired is. Who's we? <laughs> Who's we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'll tell them that. <laughs> 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 
I'm trying to look human. <laughs> I need a hug. <laughs> Yeah. So, yes, we don't have a lot of security. Yeah, yeah. say, you know, announce the first. Say it's not a, it's not a marathon, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. <laughs> Major people are leaving. Marathon. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh. How's everyone feel? <laughs> Does everybody feel like they did a good thing here? If somebody. a cop walks up to you uh, and, and wants to talk, you say you don't want to talk, right? Or you say nothing at all, you walk away, you answer one question, you've given away your Fifth Amendment, right? So if they say, what is your name, and you say your name, and then they ask you another question, you've already waived your Fifth Amendment, right? So, and if they say, uh, 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 you got to stay here, you say, am I free to leave? If they say no, you say, am I being detained? If they say yes, then you say, am I under arrest? And then they have to arrest you or let you go, okay? So... Uh, don't talk to the cops. Um, if, if they tell you you need to be answering questions, you don't. If they tell you you need to stay here, you don't, unless you're being detained or Somebody under arrest. Um, and, and these are the kinds of things that everybody needs to know when we are like out on the street, when the cops can come, because I hate to tell you guys, but it's already been dangerous out here as protesters uh, in the streets. Uh, but in Trump's America, it is extremely people dangerous. People and people say, well, hey, we're not doing anything illegal. In Trump's America, we don't know what's going to be illegal tomorrow. right? This is public property. This is property of the Port of Portland, which is like owned by, oh, uh, it's not, it's, I guess, it's owned by the state of Oregon, a, and it has its own public body, appointed by the government. So, uh, so the Port of people Portland need to make sure that, that you know your rights in these types of things. Um, on February 1st, we're having everybody uh, is welcome to join us, and we're busting down to the state legislature to let them know that we need people to protect our immigrants and our refugees, and we're partnering with Boats to Spania um, to make that happen. So we're going down. The Facebook event is up, and we need as many people as we can down in Salem to let them know this is not business as usual, okay? This is not okay, this is not normal. Um, we need people, we need protection from our legislators to do the, their jobs now. We voted for them, and we don't, we're not saying we want walls and borders and these kinds of things. We're saying we need to insulate ourselves from the policies of Donald Trump with policies here to protect people. That means that we don't want to work with ICE, right? No one, no one should be, we're not going to assist Donald Trump in deporting our neighbors. <laughs> So uh, with that 
said, I hope that everybody, if you don't meet somebody here today, you did it wrong, okay? Everybody needs to meet someone here, and you need to build community. That means that nobody walks home from here alone. Nobody walks to their car alone. If people are dispersing, I, obviously our crowd is smaller than it was a little bit ago. I hope nobody walks home alone, because that's when you can get picked off, not just by the police and or Donald Trump supporters, but by those neo-Nazis who are already in jail for assault, right? Yeah, fuck them. So nobody go home alone, and I'm not telling anybody to go home anyway. I think that we might need to keep up these airport protests for a while. But if you are leave, I see that people I see that people are going home. Make sure that you do not go home alone. Do not go home alone. Here, Armenia wanna say something. Well for one a Nazi got knocked out tonight. That's pretty cool. And went to jail. That's amazing. And went to jail. Ah, sucker. Uh, <laughs> So Gregory touched on ice. I uncovered a little thing with digging. Um, so I'm gonna give some information. Folks can do it what they want. First off, this is the facility main telephone line for the Northwest Detention Center in Tacoma. So if you want to copy it down, I'll give you a quick five seconds to copy that down. The number is two five three seven seven nine six zero zero zero. That is the main telephone line for the oh ICE detention God. facility. Oh I'm gonna God. say it one more time. Two, five, three, seven, seven, nine, six, yeah. zero, zero, zero. Now, here's the field office main telephone line. It would suck if they got a lot of wrong information, wouldn't it? Yeah. The field office telephone line is two, zero, six, eight, three, five, Zero six five zero. It would be a shame if a lot of people called that line tonight and told all their friends to do the same to give fake info. Oh, whoa, whoa there. Now, this is the last bit. Natalie R. Asher, the field office director of ICE in the Pacific Northwest, their personal home address is three, three, two, three, two, two, uh, 226 Lane, Northeast, Salmon, Sammamish, Washington, 98074-56. Oh, two. I'll read that again. This is the personal address of Natalie R. Asher, the no, field yeah, office no, director no, of ICE. Okay. 323 Lane, Northeast, Washington, 98074-5602. Personal address. No, 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 in, in order to make sure that people are safe and get home safe, we are going to walk as a group to the max, okay? If you are going to take ride share, I believe you go downstairs. Don't, don't use yeah, Uber. don't use Uber. Don't, don't, use, Uber. don't use Uber, but if you have any form of taxi yes. or anything like yes. that, sure, whatever you're using, get home safe. I care more about you getting home safe than boycotting Uber. So, no, fuck Uber! Yeah, fuck Uber. Uber. Fuck Uber. Boycott Thank Uber. you. Okay, it's not the point. <laughs> we are going to walk as a group there. If you want to take ride share, do not go alone. It's down there. Make sure you go with the group. We are going to go as a group to the max so that people are safe if they want to take the max back. Right I have a ride to St. John's with three people. Let's do uh, ride stuff at the max. Okay, cool. Oh, well, can I? I've got three that are going to Milwaukee, but my car's here. So. Okay, three people going to Milwaukee. Three spots for Milwaukee right here. Where's Milwaukee? Uh, Southeast. Like okay. Damn, you don't know. It's like a live auction now. It's a ride share auction. Are you going to come with us? Do you have a car? I'm taking the Max. You should come with us. Okay, I'll come with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I think. Uh, let's keep on playing for a little bit. Yeah. Shit. Oh my god, Ellie. How are you feeling? I am feeling really good. Duh. Good, 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 yeah, good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling that through you. Feeling like good. Karis, yeah. Feeling good as in, I think we're actually going to, instead of let history repeat itself, actually apply this feeling to action that will hopefully make change. Yeah, so totally. So we won't have a registry because people aren't going to fucking let it happen. Totally. 
How are you feeling? You've been sleeping, you've been eating, you've been hydrating? I've been trying. I'm not sleeping as up as I wanted to. Yeah. Like, coming out to the airport last night definitely made me lose two hours. Yeah, I'm sure. And now this, I've lost my whole day here. Yep. No, but it's good to be here with the Didn't cost. Didn't lose a thing. Didn't lose a thing. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the issue of capitalism, you know. Yeah. It makes time a commodity, so That's I'm true. feeling that crunch. Yeah, I haven't so been... Uh, much. So Sophie Bruner just asked, why is Uber being boycotted? Would you oh, like to answer that I question? I would love to answer that. Like so enthusiasm. Uber uh, has backed Trump for, since the beginning. And no, put, technically no, that's not what happened. What do you mean? No, Uber didn't back Trump, but the Uber CEO is on the uh, technology advisory committee, right? Yes. For Trump. Yes. I would say that's backing that's Trump. That's backing Trump. I'm well, sorry. <laughs> to be to be clear, I, I would call it that. He's I would a, absolutely call the, it that. The, the the guy I don't remember his name, but it's you know he's a, he's a wealthy guy, yeah. and as a person in power, he likes other people in power, and he's equivocating. He is trying to have it both ways. He's saying, yes. "Oh, I don't really agree with Trump, and I didn't really vote for him, but now that he's president, I have to work with him." Where the he's dollars in? are. I count that as backing. Yeah. That's that's what I count as yeah. backing. How much so money did he give to you, Trump? Uh, I don't know the exact dollar amount. No, I don't. Know. Okay. Um, but I do know that. Uh, but he is enabling and he is enabling, encouraging. I don't yeah. like they gather information. They sell the information off. Uh, mm -hmm. GPS information that has been gathered for. But can quite you specifically? Least, okay, you're saying a lot of things. But can you say yes. um, why people are now calling for Uber to be banned or deleted? Uh, because. They, uh, I, you'll have it was the airport the airport yeah, okay uh, yeah yeah so uh, yesterday uh, there and even to and today there have been massive sorry to cut you off <laughs> okay. no, no, yeah no, there no. have been massive protests at JFK airport and not only are people protesting the taxi cabs decided to do a yes. general strike at JFK airport and so uber decided to tweet out and made the decision not only tweeting it out to stop their surge fares which you know they do surge pricing all the time when there's an earthquake or when there's an ice storm or people are going to a Britney Spears concert they do surge pricing and it's fucked up because sometimes people's lives are on the line when they do surge pricing so now when an entire community is trying to shut down an airport because fucked up shit is happening, Uber's like, oh, sir, let's just forget about that surge pricing. Let's stop capitalizing off of this political situation. That is really weird. And that makes me very confused because Uber does exploit people yeah. in many situations. And now that people are trying to bring attention to human rights, they're like, eh, let's make it easier uh, to bypass the, the good work that taxi cabs are doing. And so that's why people are calling now for people to delete and stop using Uber. I heard that Lyft is donating a million dollars to ACLU. Yes, over four years. So technically 250000 but yes. So now people know uh, why it makes sense to delete your Uber and then maybe use Lyft more. I deleted mine today. And but I got a refund first. Cabs. Radio Cab has an app. See? Radio Cab has an app. And probably no surge pricing. And you can request a female driver, which I think is great. That's another problem with Uber. Sexual assault cases that have been brought about against drivers. Uber mm -hmm. says, we can't really do much about it. Yeah. And they don't work hard so to, to get justice. So, how are you? Um, what are you? Where are you going? Cat, and we're doing the town hall. Okay, are we going to Green Zebra still? Yes. Okay. Anyone need a ride to Inner Southeast? No, I got my ride. Looks like Cat, Cat, Cat. I got Ellie with me. She's part of the town hall. Hello. Hey. How's it going? I think we met a few times. Yes, I was gonna say you look familiar. We so good. Thank you. So you're gonna be on the town hall? Yes. <laughs> are there people on this? <laughs> no Trump, no KKK, no racist USA. <laughs> hey, Petey. It was good to see you. Thanks for being here. No. See ya. Mwah. Take care. Bye. Water, 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 water. Oh, water. His name oh. is Mike Huggett, and he called me a monkey once. Look at the positivity here, folks. People have been out here protesting for quarter of a day. Long amount of time. You know, almost as much as I sleep at night. Yesterday. And yesterday, too. And you see this? People are getting here to the max safely. They're making friends. They're sharing water. 
I would say this is turning out really well. And this is wrapping up pretty well. Except for, you know, plastic bottles are evil. So, that's unfortunate. Oh, hey, did you just get here? Yeah, we, we ended it. We ended it. Like, it's over, over. Okay. Bye. All right, folks. So this is Cameron here. As you can see, the Max is crowded. They're handing out water bottles. Uh, people are staying hydrated. They're staying happy. And they're getting ready for the marathon of the revolution. So I'm about to turn off this go uh, this Facebook live stream. Don't go anywhere, because in a couple of minutes, probably 30 minutes, maybe 50 minutes, I will be on the Facebook weekly town hall. And that will be with a number of activists. We will be talking about a lot of issues, including uh, what happened January 20th at Inauguration Day. As you saw, Ted Wheeler um, was booed off multiple times here. Uh, so we'll be talking about what happened there and why people are so upset at Ted Wheeler. And we'll be talking about another couple of issues, such as uh, domestic violence, talking about uh, the immigration ban happening right now, and the visa ban, and a few other issues. So please keep watching.